The physics of opera. So the physics of opera are quite simple. They comprise of three elements, vocal production, resonance, and acoustics. Opera singers use their vocal folds to create sound. What happens is that when air comes from the lungs, it passes through the vocal folds, they vibrate, which produces sound waves. These sound waves travel not only into the throat and into the mouth, but also into the nasal cavities and the chest, amplifying the sound. This is called resonance. Finally, these sound waves travel from the singer to the audience member in a space where the shape and the materials of the walls and the floor and the ceiling have been carefully chosen to reflect sound most efficiently. Okay, so there are two really important things that help the operatic voice carry over an orchestra. The first thing is vibrato. Vibrato is very small, slight fluctuations in pitch. It's the difference between singing a tone like ah, which we call straight tone, versus ah. There's a very slight fluctuation of pitch in that. So that allows the human ear to distinguish the human voice over the sound of the other instruments. The second thing is squealo. We refer to this as the singer's formant, and it's a sound that is characterized by a bright cutting quality. Um, it emphasizes a lot of higher frequencies, which allows the voice to cut and be heard over the more middle and lower frequencies of the instruments in the orchestra. All right, let's chat harmonics versus overtones and the relationship to formants and how this ties into the physics of singing opera. So when the vocal folds vibrate, a singer is producing a fundamental frequency. Yeah, and this is measured in hertz. But in addition to that fundamental pitch that you're hearing, there are also higher pitches that are being created at the same time. And specifically harmonics are a higher pitch that is an, is an integer multiple of that fundamental frequency. So let's say um, a singer is singing a note at 100 hertz as the frequency. There are also harmonics happening at 200 hertz, 300 hertz, etc. So when we talk about overtones, we're talking about harmonics basically, but without that exact mathematical relationship, we kind of use the terms interchangeably. When we get into talking about formants, basically opera singers have the ability to change and adjust the shape of the vocal tract, which constitutes the throat, the mouth, and the nasal cavities in order to enhance these overtones and or harmonics that are occurring, creating the singer's formants, which help carry the voice over an orchestra. And they usually live around 2,500 hertz to about 3,500 hertz or so. Boom, there you have it.